Heidi ho uh, it's just a quick showing of the new heavy-duty PSS XL I got from Wilderness Innovation and a fleece, fleece liner that I've used for the last year and uh, just a quick glance at it This is actually the material that I thought my other PSS's was going to be like when I ordered them, but they're a lot lighter. Obviously I knew the silk nylon were going to be light, but anyhow. I've used this for the last year. I've used it camping as a blanket. And uh, early this year when I was camping, I used it as a liner and a hammock. But the thing slides around so much, getting in it just perfect into the in, into the hammock. The hammock probably comes up around you, and the feet are so tight that uh, in the regular PSSL, uh, I mean my feet don't even hang in it unless I hang the PSSL just right. So I was pretty excited when this came out. It's a foot longer. <clears throat> I actually got this in lieu of a second pair of boots. Of a, second pair of boots that Perry was making me. <clears throat> hmm.
fleece liners got the double the double snaps on them they snap together and then you can snap into the back and the front onto the front I kind of like about this and I'm gonna I think I want to modify my PSS XL <clears throat> I might even try to order one or just sew on another piece of uh, fleece here to make this longer but to fit my XL but what I like about this <coughs> excuse me I've been fighting pneumonia if you're man enough <laughs> You can snap them together. <laughs> I've done this the other day. It's a little bit tight, but no, not that one. The lower one. I ordered damn steel blue.
and a bug net for it. I don't know if it's larger than the original, but it's in a larger bag. I imagine it's bigger. I'm going to make or buy some smaller bags so I can compress them down. Leave them in this bag for hooking them up and just compressing them into a smaller bag. This is just a comparison. This is the XL bug net. This is a standard PSSL uh, large, extra large bug net. <laughs> go around my belly, go around my belly. But a uh, little bit of difference. This is a compression on this one. That's a compression on that one makes me think they might be the same same bug net actually just the one in a larger bag but we'll find out soon <clears throat> there's probably not much more to it anyways it's an extra foot maybe a foot and a half <clears throat> this is with my high vis for my high visibility PSS large and I've got extra, extra steak bags in there. I got some extra bungees. But let's see, and this here is uh, the black PSSL, PSSL. In comparison to what the the heavy duty comes in. I wrote down the weight. I wrote down the weight on the, the uh, PSS XL. It was three pounds ten ounces, or three pounds one. <coughs> me. I've got an inside all annotated. It's just over three pounds, and this was. I believe just under two, like one pound, ten ounces or something. But I added extra paracord in this. I think I did. Maybe I didn't in this one. Yeah, added extra paracord and a, uh, a hoodie pocket fleece liner that I keep in here. <clears throat> and uh, these have the fleece, the the, uh, the hoodie pockets on them. This has the hoodie pocket on it. So, what I actually wanted this to be was a foot longer, like the XL, so that I'd fit in a thing, in a hammock, and I wanted the ends. Let me go get one. ends this is pretty slick <clears throat> put additional tie out tab here I guess where you can use it as a tie out tab on the on the corner end and then put the snap in that and then this is, this is the part you put the drawstring through this is the part you put your drawstring through draw it together and uh, for your hammock setup but <clears throat> This little pocket here is about yay big. And what I would have been, <laughs> first thing I tried to order, but I guess he, he couldn't make them, I don't know. It's too busy or whatnot. And uh, what I wanted was this sleeve here to be about, uh, about three times that size. It'd go to about here, I guess. Uh, with the stitching three times, otherwise we're about two, two and a half. The width. 
and then you could take or then I could take a stick like on uh, like on Dave Canterbury's log cot that he come up with <clears throat> stick a stick through the end <clears throat> and make a flat hammock and I didn't know if that would work very good or not but I've been wanting one of those forever and it's just real tough getting custom stuff out of out of uh, Perry over there at Wilderness Innovation. He's, I guess he's so busy or whatnot. But I really like this. I think what I want to do. <clears throat> I didn't put on my microphone, so anyway, what I want to do is, uh, I believe, customize this somehow to where I can fold it over and uh, to where it be tighter for walking and i'm not exactly sure how i'll do that with a belt uh snaps or just uh tie outs on just tie tie two of these tie outs together and it'll make sense here in a second i'll back up I didn't work with some double snaps like the uh, PSS or like the fleece liner. <clears throat> Nothing else. You can take a couple of these to somehow rig them up, but that would make it a lot better for walking. It's kind of restricted on your arms, but no big deal when you're walking. It's almost dark here, so hopefully you can still see, but I hadn't planned on doing any filming. I haven't really been in the mood. <clears throat> with, with, just, with just life happening, I guess you could say, but uh, last September, the first week of September last year, I ordered two pairs of uh, mucklucks from Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation. And uh, he made me one pair, I had them to me within three months, I believe it was, less than three months. And uh, as of now, I still haven't gotten a second pair. <laughs> but last, the end of May, around June of this year, he, he offered a trade out. And I, because he was so busy doing a military order. And then told me he wasn't doing any more custom work. Well, I told him I can wait. No big deal. I didn't want him to go out of business. <laughs> well, come to, th come to find out, he, uh, but in, uh, here just recently, um, I contacted him and uh, said, "Fine, if that's what it takes, we'll just we'll just trade out. If you aren't going to make them, I mean, it's been 15 months, right?" And uh, well, I just traded him out a heavy-duty PSS XL and a uh, bug net to fit it. And he sent me something <laughs> makes it hard to be mad at him. I mean, I like Perry. Don't get me wrong, but be forewarned if you order custom stuff from him, you may or may not get it. But anyhow, I'd even, the boots were paid for. The boots were paid for 14 months ago, 14 and a half months ago, so roughly. I mean, they were paid for the first or second week of October 2014. And I ordered them the first, first week roughly of September 2014. <clears throat> but he sent me a, uh, a set of his cooking sticks. 
and it's a it's a three three different sizes 18 inch 12 inch and uh, I think it's 8 inch but anyhow I'll back up and show them real quick These are just hooked on there with shrink tubing. So I don't know how long that's gonna last, but if if he put it on there, he he ain't gonna do nothing, but it ain't gonna last. So So when you pull, or when I pull on this, oh shit, I just lost my I just lost the loop. <laughs> anyway, I pulled too hard. I'll fix it later. This is pretty slick really. Opens up. You can see it. It's got three different sizes. I'll, I'll do I'll do a review on this later. Uh, three different sizes he threw in. This is a set of the wax sticks. <clears throat> the wax cotton string. And it's got three of these connectors which makes it longer different setups whatnot but and each each set came in its own little bag <coughs> excuse me pretty slick I was really shocked to was shocked to see that he sent me this <coughs> excuse me been fighting them freaking pneumonia and strep throat and then these cooking sticks, stainless steel, I believe these are. Very cool. And they come apart. And you can make them longer with a connector. Or with a different size sticks or whatever. <coughs> Shoot, you can even hook the, uh, the connector on here. And hook one here. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty slick setup. And then take one of the shorter sticks and hook it across. Well, Seems like a good anyway. I haven't really played with them yet. <laughs> That's really slick. I'll do a review of these later. This little bag.